Welcome to another Nord's Tech Tip. In this video, I will show you the basics of sizing a tankless for residential applications in three easy steps. It's a lot easier than you may think. Let's get started. Step one is where you determine the maximum temperature rise. This is the difference between the tankless set temperature and the wintertime cold water temperature. You may reference the map below or simply measure your cold water in the winter time to find out. For this example, let's say the home is on the central coast of California, right there. Based on the map, we'll say the winter groundwater temperature is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can determine the winter time temperature rise. We'll assume a 120 degree set temperature as that's hot, but not scalding. Subtract the 55 degree groundwater temperature and you get 65. This is your temperature rise. For step two, you are going to determine the peak hot water demand of the home. If possible, ask the homeowner how many hot water fixtures they typically use at the same time. Also, as you know, fixtures and appliances have different flow rates depending on the manufacturer. However, you can use an average amount, like the ones below, to get a ballpark figure. If in doubt, check the fixture itself or contact the manufacturer. Example 1 shows a fairly average use of two showers and a washing machine at the same time, totaling 6 gallons per minute. While example 2 shows a rather large peak demand of 4 showers and a dishwasher, totaling 10 gallons per minute. The third and final step is to select the proper unit or pair of units using the sizing chart found online or in our product catalog. Simply find the temperature rise on the left and match up a unit or pair of units that provide the approximate flow rate needed. Since we determined our temperature rise was 65 and a peak flow of 6 gallons per minute for example 1, we can see that any of the 111 series provides 6 or just about 6 gallons per minute and would be a great choice. For example 2 with the higher flow rate, you can see that a pair of the 98 series and even the NRCR92 would provide the needed 10 gallons per minute. As you can see with those three easy steps, anyone can properly size a tankless for residential applications. Thank you for watching and I will leave you with this final tip. It's always better to slightly oversize a tankless system than to undersize it. There is no downside to an oversized system for the home. However, an undersized system will not provide enough hot water for the home during all times of the year.